Man, they couldn't just leave well enough alone, could they? We've got the new Pro V1 and the new Pro V1X we're going to dive into right now. Well, thanks so much for stopping by, clicking on the video. Glad you're here. Make sure you hit that like button. Appreciate it. Also, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that come out. And all the links to the products I use and recommend, there's deals, whatever, are in the video description below. So be sure to go through there and have at it. And today, we are going to show you everything you need to know about the new Pro V1 and the Pro V1X. What has Titleist done? Whew, crazy. A couple months ago, Titleist sent me the new balls that are being released today. Uh, and so I've had some time, a lot of time, to check both of them out. Played a number of rounds with both balls, played together, played separately. I did everything on the track, man. We cut them open. So I'm going to show you everything and, and just share with you what I learned and what the information is about the new balls. Could they be? Could they be even better? Like how can you? I don't know. Well, I do know. I'm going to share it with you right now. So here's Look, I'm not gonna get all in the, the weeds with the technology of the balls because some people love it, some people hate it, but be sure to check out the link for Titleist in the description and it could take you there and you can, you can have at all the detailed stuff. However, the kind of the basics are this, the Pro V1 is for, the, let's say, the majority of players, a little less spin, a little more penetrating ball flight, lower and, um, good feel, good everything. And then the Pro V1X, what they say, has more spin where you want it, yet has a firmer feel, a firmer feel yet more spin. Interesting. Did, is that for real, right? And this, they, they have done like, they've redone their dimple pattern on the ball to help with the performance ball, uh, you know, through the air, through the wind, bunch of stuff so be sure to check that out and uh, and on the website I'll give you everything you need to know behind me are the stats from trackman so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all my stats on trackman and then share with you what happened on course when I actually played plus we'll cut into these and see if they're even any different than the previous model all right so these will also be available in golf shops on January 27th of this year. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. Let's see what my numbers are, all right? So what I did was I hit a number of shots with the Pro V1 and the Pro V1X on TrackMan. I did pitching wedge, seven iron, and driver. And then I just went back and forth and numbers are what they are here in my studio under in a controlled environment using TrackMan technology. Okay, so starting off, we have the pitching wedge with the Pro V1, and you could see that uh, my total carry on average was 123 yards, and I like to look at spin, 86, 84 spin rate with the Pro V1. So now with the Pro V1X, um, I carry a little less, believe it or not, spin rate's a bit higher, so that was with the Pro V1X pitching wedge. Uh, now let's move on to 7-iron. So these are my averages with the 7-iron and the Pro V1. Average carry was 165 yards at a 5,700 spin rate. And we'll keep an eye on the height too. 92 feet high is how high it was going. So these are kind of key numbers I like to look at when I'm hitting a ball. Like, you know, is it going lower or higher and what's my spin? So keep an eye on that. 57, 
and 92 and 165 for the Pro V1. So this is the 7-iron Pro V1X, and notice I'm getting 168 carry, so three extra yards with the Pro V1X. My spin rate is higher, so that's cool, and a, two more feet on average of height. So a little bit higher, a little more spin, makes sense, and a little more distance with the X, interesting. Okay, driver with the Pro V1 is this, and I was getting an average carry of 250, 75 feet high, and it was a spin rate of 2044. So that is a lower, more penetrating ball flight. I did like it. I was getting, what, 35 yards of roll on average with the driver, so pretty good. Now, moving on to X with the driver. Okay, uh, driver with the Pro V1X, don't hate, swing pattern. My, my shot dispersion is a little wild here, and uh, it's just what happens sometimes. It's the way it is. Here we go. Um, average swing speed was right around the same as the Pro V1. So, you know, we're really testing it like apples to apples here. I was getting a 251 carry, so about a yard more carry on average. My spin rate was higher at 2182, and the height was higher as well at 83 feet. So decent height, little more spin, but not crazy spin. I mean, my numbers are pretty well, my clubs are fitted right, so the spin rate's staying down, good carry, a little bit uh, less roll, and so although I got a little more carry, Obviously, with the, with the more spin, you're going to get a little bit less rollout with the driver. But all in all, numbers are very, very good. And the balls are performing with the numbers, TrackMan, according to what Titleist is saying, in their release. So that's good. I like those things to, to match. I'd hate for them to say you get more spin and I actually got less spin. But they know what they're doing. So, so far, so good. But how does this perform on course? That's the question. Okay, we're out at Atlanta National Golf Club. We're in uh, North Georgia, and um, this course is part of the Club Corp family of golf courses, so link in the video description below. Awesome membership opportunities, not only in this area, but around the country. This one is one of my favorites in, in, around town. It's a Pete Dye design. We're on the back nine today. Oh, it's beautiful. So, uh, hole 10, 414 yards from the tips. We've got Pro V1 and Pro V1X. We're gonna play both of them for the holes we play and give you a good comparison of the two different balls in action. So I've had some time to play a number of rounds with both golf balls, which I really liked. And then I would compare them while I'm out on the course with even the current Pro V1, Pro V1X models, just to kind of get a good comparison. What, was, what I found interesting was one round I was playing, I thought I was using the Pro V1, I was using the Pro V1X, the current model, and when I play with it, I've been playing with it for a long time, the ball would hit and stop. So that was fantastic. That's kind of how it would react. That's what I was used to. Now, then I accidentally grabbed the, the new model, the Pro V1X from tw for 2021, and I was firing at a flag and the ball sucked back a little bit, which I wasn't used to. So I was like, what's, and then I looked at it and it was, obviously the new, the newer model. So what I liked about that was this, when I'm off the tee, it's got a firmer feel, which I do like that firm feel when I pull out my driver and the ball goes and I get a nice carry, I could hit it high and that all was fantastic. But when I'm hitting a wedge or an iron, short iron into the green, especially the front flags, 
I can now throw it a little past the flag, which I like to do and get a little pullback on that thing, which helps a lot because then I can make sure I have an uphill putt. So has Titleist made a better golf ball? I'd say they did. Now, of course it is expensive. It's the higher top tier brand. So if you're doing that, you're gonna really love what they have done with the new Pro V1 and Pro V1X. And if you don't want that pullback or you spin it too much, then go with the Pro V1 and you're gonna get a little less spin and you get that hit and stop or just bounce forward a little bit. But if you want a little more spin, go with the X. I really love it. Now, cutting these open, I wanted to see what have they done and is it any different or is it just an exterior dimple pattern thing that they did? And so here's what we came up with. Obviously the Pro V1 is a nice three piece with a nice big solid core. It's got the cover and then a thin uh, next layer and then the big core. And it's very similar to the previous model. But if you look real closely, you can see some differences in this model versus the previous model in the inner core. But you can see nice three piece construction. That's gonna give you good quality, great, fantastic ball if you're looking for the three piece. And then the Pro V1X, I mean, other than the color difference, it's very, very similar. And again, the changes are super subtle internally in the golf ball, but you can see, if you look closely, a difference in the thickness of each core. They kind of rework that very, very subtly. And then obviously the dimple pattern, but whatever they did to it to give you that same firm feel, but with a little more spin, I like. And so internally, they, they've done a great job. And I love cutting golf balls open because you can see any imperfections in the centering of the golf ball. That's how you know if, if, you, if you're buying fake golf balls, just cut one open and this center circle will be off to the side and nobody wants that. So fantastic job, Titleist, on the new golf balls. I've always, look, this is, I've always used, I, I don't always, but for the most part, I do use Titleist golf balls and I've always been happy. A lot of people are using them. So I just wanted to share with you kind of the numbers of the new balls. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next video.